Welcome to CNE here, where you come from all your media needs. My name is Ray. It's your boy, Nikki Tay Tay. And today, we are reviewing Overlord and Killing Nazis. Directed by Julius Avery, starring Giovanna Depo and Wyatt Russell. Overlord. I think this is the first time I could say this was a good video game turned into a movie. <laughs> And the reason I say that, because this movie isn't based on a video game, but this is what you get for everyone who has been playing Nazi Zombies on Call of Duty. Yeah. This is that turned into a movie. It's just as fun. It's just as entertaining. It's just as over the top. I was waiting for something to whisper in my ear, insta-kill. <laughs> I was waiting for all of it, because it, that's what it felt like. It felt like a well-executed zombie game turned into a movie. No more of Resident Evil. We didn't get a Resident Evil 10 here. We got something fresh and new for movies. Yes, I agree. And also, it was very, very action-packed. Wow. It was very, very action-packed. Action and, and let me just give a moment. Let, let me just give a moment okay. to all of the veterans, all of the soldiers, all of the people that go fight and protect us. Because at the beginning of this movie, the first scene of this movie, I am cowering in my seat from all of the gore and army related action. And it really made me understand that I cannot become a soldier. And now, anybody that can, hats out to you. Now, it wasn't, you know, like, Save It Priming Ryan, you know, with Tom Hanks storming the coast of Normandy, but it was pretty terrifying. It's like, oh my God, this is real. This is war, first and foremost. Let's let's forget about the zombies that we're gonna see. This is war. Yeah. This is a tense situation. You know, this was more tense than the girl playing with the cobwebs that we saw the other day. This was what a thriller is about. It's edge of your seat, just, oh, yeah. what is going to happen? And that's what we got at the beginning of this movie. And Julius Avery did a great job at showing all that action. Yes, he, did. he did a great job at letting us know this is not just a scary zombie movie, but we also have real soldiers doing real things. And I can apply them for mashing the two together in such a great way. Now, you're probably wondering, like, wait, wait, the Overlord zombie, what was this movie about? You know, we totally skipped ahead. We're assuming that you know, you know, what the movie is. But it is basically showing you World War II, you know, Hitler, Nazi Germany, and soldiers are infiltrating to take down a tower that is constructed at this church. But unbeknownst to them, there is also some sort of scientific experiments occurring, which are turning the German soldiers into the living dead. A thousand year army means thousand year soldiers. To zombies! Nazi zombies. So that is the correlation to the Call of Duty we made earlier. But again, this is something we haven't seen done. You know, this is big in pop culture now. You know, killing, killing Nazis, Nazi zombies. It's a thing, has been for a while, and now we get a movie dedicated to it. It's almost the movie version of Wolfenstein. I can bring up a lot of games yeah. in this. Because again, this felt very much like a video game, but it was the best version of a movie that was a video game. It's, you know, not Doom level. It's way beyond that. And this movie also was more than just a game, right? They actually had a, I wouldn't say compelling story, but they knew what they were. And I think that's important. They Absolutely. knew what they were, the and they stayed in the confines frames of that. Didn't take themselves too serious. And that's what's important, because you don't want to get too serious when you're killing Nazi zombies. No. But in the moments away from the zombies is where the movie felt real. The connection between the soldiers, the connection between the soldiers and the people they were trying to protect, all of that felt real. Mm -hmm. And that's why I think this movie, like I said earlier, did a good job of giving me a lot of realism with war, wartime events, and what people go through in war. And also the killing of zombies and Nazis alike. Now, again, Julius Avery did a great job. I know J.J. Abrams did more than just produce this film. Because this definitely had J.J. Abrams touches on it. I could feel his presence in this movie. It definitely showed. It was crafted beautifully. It was a fun, enjoyable movie. Something I definitely will see again. So with that, I am giving this movie an 8.2. That, that's simple. It's 
A very good movie. Fun, like I said. It's Nazi zombies. I mean, if you don't like Nazis, but you love zombies, this is it. This, yes, is, it is. this is the perfect matchup for you. Now, this movie wasn't perfect. I didn't really get too much into it during the, I guess, the meat of our review. But I'm going to get to it in the closing. It did have pacing issues. Uh, some moments was really fast and it was great. And other moments was dragging on and lagging a little bit too long. So with that being said, as fun as this movie was, it did have a few downfalls. So I'll have to give this movie a 7.75. Very enjoyable, definitely worth watching, but not perfect. That completes the review for Overlord. As always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know how you feel about the movie. Uh, do you hate zombies? Do you love zombies? Do you hate Nazis? Do you love Nazis? If you love Nazis, you might not want to comment. But we definitely want to hear from everyone uh, if you enjoyed this movie. As always, make sure you hit the notification bell. Stay up to date with all of our reviewing content. And as always, don't forget, you've seen it here. I'm going to go get the bear, Jew. I'm going to beat her with a bat. <laughs> Nazis.